Hello everyone, uh, this is a bentonite uh, trial video and so to start off what we need is uh, first of all wine. So we've got a sample of wine from a tank. Um, we have a graduated cylinder to measure it into. It'll be 100 mils into each, each of these beakers in front of us. Be putting 100 mils into these beakers and we'll be using bentonite pre-made uh, overnight uh, at least or older so it's rehydrated so this is uh, macalit uh, bentonite 20 percent solution 200 grams per liter and i've shaken it up and we'll need a pipette to measure it and then a stir stick to measure it once it's in there so i've measured out 100 mils into this graduated cylinder that goes in the beaker and now with a pipette, I'll be pipetting 0.75 mils into that beaker and then mixing it with a stir rod, make sure it's all homogeneous mixed. And that's done. So now that'll sit overnight and uh, settle for the morning. And we'll be doing uh, two, uh, five different levels, 150 grams per hectoliter, 200, 250, 300, and 350 grams per hectoliter of bentonite, uh, which is suitable for hybrids in Nova Scotia. It seems high. Uh, you know, in BC with vinifera, quite often I was using 60 to 80 grams per hectoliter, but uh, uh, this is uh, I guess high pro higher proteins in Nova Scotia. So with the, the bentonite, which is at 200 grams per liter, and if you're adding 100 grams per hectoliter of bentonite to 100 mils, it works out to be 0.75 mils into this beaker, uh, 1 mil into this beaker, 1.25, 1.5, 1.75. The samples have settled really well overnight and now we're going to filter them through a 0.45 micron filter pad and check for stability. To filter these I've got a, a syringe which I'll suck the wine into and then there's a, a holder for the filter pads. So this is a little disc 0.45 micron that goes on there and then the cover goes on and there's different different kinds of filtration um, methods. This is one of them. Um, so I'm going to get the first sample. I'll, I'll uh, get it right off the top where it's nice and clear. I need about 10 mils. So I'm going to just take over 10 mils. Uh, attach it to the filter. And then I have these test tubes and I've marked you might see those marks right there. I've marked the 10 mil mark and then the one mil of uh, bento test, which I'll show next. So first of all, we're gonna filter it. I'll go to the 10 mil mark. So that's just a syringe. Pressure, so that's up to 10 mils. And now we're gonna use bento test and it's uh, one mil to 10 mils. And it's gonna chemical denature the proteins. And uh, if it's unstable, it'll be cloudy. Okay, got that added. Now with a strong light, I use a mag light. You can look through it and look for clarity. You see all that cloudiness? Uh, in there, that's so that's unstable. That's uh, 150 grams per hectoliter of bentonite. That's unstable. So now we'll do the next one. So this shows the uh, the four trials that we did uh, fairly well. It's got a fairly strong light behind it, and uh, you can see uh, 150 grams a hectoliter of bentonite, 200, 250, 300, and 300 is is uh, looks pretty good. So we're going to go with that, nice and clear. Um, 
So to prepare the bentonite to add to the tank, um, we'll be using the Nacolit bentonite. It's uh, sodium calcium bentonite, uh, very high grade. It's, um, you can see the granular, uh, it's, so it disperses really well when added to hot water. And we'll be measuring it on this scale. Uh, the tank's in the background. It's a 2,000 liter tank. So at 300 grams a hectoliter, we'll need six kilos of, of this bentonite. So we're gonna measure that out into here and, uh, and then add it to hot water. When adding bentonite to hot water, you wanna make sure that you're doing it very slowly. Um, you don't want it to clump too much. If you add it all at once, you'll just get a big blob on the bottom. So you wanna add it very slowly. So, uh, like I said, this bentonite is really good. So I've got it measured out, six kilos in here, and I'm gonna add it into a, a pail of hot water, very, fairly slowly, while I'm mixing. Getting ready to add bentonite to the tank uh, that we made up. So right now the pump is hooked up to uh, two hoses and uh, I'm circulating KMS Citric, one gram per liter of each, through all the hoses on the pump. And uh, the bentonite is here, so it's uh, it's uh, rehydrated overnight. It's very important once you add the bentonite that you let it rehydrate six hours plus. Um, I, I prefer overnight at least, so at least 12 hours, if not more. And so I'll be stirring this um, to make it homogeneous and, um, and then adding it to this large tank that has the ladder next to it. One of the best ways to mix a tank is from the bottom valve over the top. So I've got a hose hooked up to the bottom valve, uh, you can see on that tank, and, um, and then over the top I've got it secured. Best practices is to secure the weight of the of the hose. So I've got it secured on the side side of the tank, and then also secured inside. So uh, I'll be dumping slowly the the bucket of bentonite in the top while it's mixing, bottom to top, and I'll keep it, keep it mixing for about. Um, it's instantaneous. Bentonite uh, reacts very quickly but I'll, I'll mix it to make sure it's homogeneous for about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so for this 2,000 liter tank.